Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was raised from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms that are all around us, they leave their signs and secrets right in front of us in symbolism. And on my channel, we bring all of this back to the Word of God and show how we're nearing the end of days. Well, they've come out with this new Burger King commercial, this mushroom in Swiss, with the Big King new $5 bill. And you can see here it has Lincoln in it and the $5 bill. Well, we're nearing in the Bible what's known as the fifth A. You see this individual on this Illuminati box cover trying to get to the five right here, trying to get to the fifth age. And that's even when the dead rise and this rapture of this phoenix leaves and this idol worship of the new world order and the mark of the beast all comes right here when this individual comes down known as the accuser. Well, in this commercial, they're making fun of this, showing the five, the fifth age coming. The reason for the burgers is that Jesus Christ is known as the Lord of hosts. Human beings are known as a host, and also like the Catholic Eucharist is known as the Holy Host Eucharist. And this is coming in the New Age, in the Fifth Age, there's a great deception coming. And these are changed. These are not going to be the Catholic Eucharist. Let's watch this commercial quickly. Burger King wants to officially change the $5 bill. <laughs> Please don't laugh. Try the new Mushroom and Swiss Big King. Now on the Burger King 2 for $5 menu. Where you can mix and match two large premium sandwiches for just $5. Only at Burger King. Mm -hmm. Burger King wants to officially change the $5. So we can see right here. The Mushroom and Swiss. Mushroom stands for nukes coming. Right here. Lincoln is known for bringing the axe for chopping down the trees and things and for getting rid of slavery for setting everybody free in the fifth age we're set free and then judgment comes upon the earth it's even shown right here on these Egyptian glyphs Moses was taken out from underneath the burdens and set free all of the, these Egyptian things are as our burden you see this individual coming down with the V on his chest coming down from the stargates going through Obama through this door and will do this large nuclear event. There's the mushrooms and the Swiss coming practically. And then this red bull, the red horse of the apocalypse, is off and running. But do you see the new Eucharist? Right in his hand? Right there? See that? Perfect. That's what this represents right there. There he is coming. The fifth age of the Bible coming. These are as the two domes even being blown up, as we've just shown. Now, I map out all of the earth and show how all of this is real. We're going to show right here by Japan, Jesus Christ standing right here, welcoming everybody into heaven. He's right there. And he literally looks like the Burger King. He is the Burger King. He's in charge of the host. Right here, he's casting down the accuser. Right there. This is the accuser he's casting down. There's actually the rainbow bridge is over his throne. You can't fake this perfection. See the rainbow bridge with the cross right here as we're going up. And then a great deception comes upon all the earth. There is the Burger King right there. There is Jesus Christ. There he is, right there. Look at that. Perfect. When the accuser is cast out of heaven, when the restrainer is removed, and then a great deception comes upon the earth. See this right here? May God have mercy on us all. This is also that same trident symbol. And for everybody that saw Mike Brown, the Michael Brown shooting that happened in St. Louis, this is how they were walking around the whole time. This is everybody at the Michael Brown protest after the police officer shot the man, for whatever reason. But this is their saying now. See how they're all standing here with their arms up? The same way that we're seeing just like in this Burger King commercial back here. Just like this, the trident symbol. 
the three woes of the Bible coming, if you will. Confess with your mouth, the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart, God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. The main thing here is to realize that Jesus Christ is real, and that we are nearing these end times, that we are nearing this fifth age that most people don't even know about. Most people in the Bible, or in most Christians, have no idea what a fifth age is. We can guarantee this. Literally 99% of all Christians have no idea what the next age is. Nearly all preachers don't have any idea what this actually means. Literally. It's just the way that it is. We don't know these basics. It all comes down to this statue right here. God said there would be this type of statue basically made in the book of Daniel and we would go through these five ages and then he would destroy everything and make a new heaven and a new earth. We are getting ready to enter into this last stage. It doesn't last long. It's actually called a great deception. The fourth age is just like with our forefathers for the USA. This was all... Anyways, it represents the legs right here. That is why when the Twin Towers were destroyed, they built one Freedom Tower. It symbolizes the same thing of the fifth age coming. All right here. Over and over again we see this all around us. And for those that don't know it, I wanted to show here. Prince Charles admits that he is descended from Vlad the Impaler. That the British royal family is part of Dracula's bloodline. Who can trace his ancestry back to Romania's dark and distant past. The genealogy shows that I am descended from Vlad the Impaler. The genealogy shows I am descended from Vlad the Impaler. Right here. Just as you can see right here. He's part of Dracula's bloodline. Just wanted to show to all of this British stuff over here. They're leading part of the great deception with Prince William, Prince Charles, and all of these things. We even had... A British woman now says she wants to join ISIS and behead Christians. Just as we had the other guy that that killed Foley and beheaded him. He was actually a British person. The Redcoats are ready to rise back up with this great deception and work for their god, Satan, and bring this great tribulation all across the earth. May God have mercy on us all. Thank you very much, everybody. We are nearing this fifth age. Hallelujah.